What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Dub here. It's your boy Ross, man. And this is in the clutch. Hey, here to talk to you guys about some current events going on in the wrestling world. Yeah, and uh, obviously mm-hmm. the most biggest thing right now is uh, the the reports and rumors after um, SmackDown uh, last Friday night. SmackDown, how <clears throat> everything transpired with Cody, Cody essentially, Storm. potentially yeah. maybe alley ooping his. Royal Rumble victory, to the or Rock. well, not Royal Rumble victory, but kind of giving away his main event to The Rock, mm. and then you know, obviously the implications between Rock and Roman, how that's that's a very big time money making match. But yeah, the online wrestling community has not liked that, and you've uh, there's been some clips coming out of like they've had some house shows, and then NXT. At their uh, show this uh, past, um, actually Sunday, and anytime they showed an image of The Rock, there was booze. Really? Mm-hmm. Why y'all doing my guy like that, man? Come on now. <laughs> well, let's take it back. We understand Cody lost WrestleMania 39 last year. Everybody mm-hmm. wanted him to win, but unfortunately, he didn't get the dub, and of course, got pummeled by your boy, number 11. Anywho, um, <laughs> goes from there, go throughout the year. I think they built him up um, at a good point to make it make sense for him to win it over. Mm-hmm. Um, I was telling Ross, I feel like due to the injuries that just happened at the Royal Rumble, that may have skewed the story mm-hmm. more than we know it. Yeah. And on top of that, the whole Vince debacle was yeah. been going on with Vince and um, the people that may be a part of what he had going on. I think, it, I personally think a lot changed mm-hmm. behind the scenes than we know about. Yeah. And they had to throw a quick, a huge audible yeah. because the Roman and Rock, um, match is a mega match yeah yeah yeah. a match of a decade yeah um so of course they would have wanted to build that up so i don't i think them two wanted to build that up but it's kind of like you kind of got to do what you got to do while you also have like all these deals on the table and stuff Mm -hmm. like that i just feel like it's more going on than we know yeah um it's definitely it looks like from just the reports and once again we don't know how true the reports are but it's looking like you know that was may have been part of uh the Rock's potential deal with signing with TKL and being one of the board members that they would probably, you know, really push and facilitate that that mania match. Mm-hmm. Which, once again, I do think, you know, you you could have done this if this is to be true. Because we uh, do plan on checking out that uh, press rest- conference. Yeah, Thursday. the press conference they're having, mm-hmm. the kickoff press conference this Thursday. Mm-hmm. So we plan on checking that out live just to see what's going on. And I think that's probably when they'll make things official, official, if that's the route they go. Yeah. But um, it's just, it's looking like from the rumors and reports that he kind of politicked his way and pushed for this match to happen now. And obviously, you know, TKO was going to back this. Ari Emanuel is going to back this. And I think this mm-hmm. is over Triple H in uh, in the head of creative. His be- authority. Because it's just one of those things where I think they wanted to really do what the the biggest possible WrestleMania event of all time. And then, mm-hmm. like you were saying, to separate themselves yeah. from the whole Vince McMahon situation. And yeah. I think that's that's the idea that I'm sure the higher ups are looking at. Like, hey, we want we want people to not necessarily talk about this Vince stuff, which mm-hmm. people had had pretty much stopped. Everything that's been revolving right now is the hashtag we want Cody. It's yeah. been trending for the past three days now. We're filming this on Monday mm-hmm. and it's gotten even mainstream media buzz. You got TMZ talking about it, USA mm-hmm. talking about it, other sports outlets talking about it. And one of the it, most disliked uh videos. Yeah, the, one of the, the stare off yeah, on one of the WWE's most YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's yeah. one of those things where it's like it's working technically in WWE's favor because not pe- people aren't worried about the Vince stuff. They're worried True. about what's happening for WrestleMania this Ooh, year. What if that's what they wanted to do? Oh, yeah. Nah, like, th- just throw us off. And this could be a swerve. This could be a big work. We don't know because I The Rock and Roman never said anything. They just stared which worked, off. Which worked because so, they didn't have to say anything. They didn't have to. They so, could have let. They, th- they did a stare off so other people can speculate. Yeah. Because once we don't. This is probably the most unpredictable uh, WrestleMania we've had because last year we yeah. knew Cody was going to face Roman. Yeah, he we won did. it. We knew he was going to win it this year. You know, 
I still was one of the people that didn't think Cody was going to win. I thought it was going to be CM Punk. Mm -hmm. They end up, CM Punk getting hurt. They end up switching things up. Seth Rollins is hurt. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. But we don't really have any indication. And I think a lot of people are just, you know, going off the rumors and speculation and just the media emotions, which Mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with having those emotions because at the end of the day, WWE wants you to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. Like now it's gotten to the the point. engagement going Anything WWE related, all you see is the hashtag, we want Cody. We want mm-hmm. Cody. And honestly, that could be part of their plan, too, to see how much... How bad do you want it? How bad do you really want this? Because so, people didn't want... Being honest, everybody wasn't for Cody No, nah. at first. Yeah, especially after he lost last year. There was a lot of people saying, oh, I'm I'm over it. I'm off. Yeah, and I'm off the story. Yeah. I'm over it. Mm-hmm. Whoop And that's just how frugal the fans can be, the yeah. fan base can be. Very fickle. You know, because it's like people people don't understand that this is these are stories that you have to kind of create for a long period of time. Mm-hmm. Like it has to make sense, not just for right now, for yeah. what you want, that instant gratification. It has to make sense over a period of, over a course of time. So um, I personally do hope they still let Cody yeah. do his thing. Same here. Um, I love The Rock. Yeah, of course, of course. Of, y'all already know. Yeah. So, you know, I don't even got to say. But I do want it to be at a time where everybody is enjoying it. Yeah. I, I don't want it to be to where it's like nobody really wants to see it. And it's not because they don't want to see it, but it's because y'all been kind of handling Cody these L's. Yeah, the past, this will be the second year. Yeah, fam, go ahead and let him do his thing. He's been fighting his way all the way here. Yeah, you don't have him win the Royal Rumble back to back just to have him go and you mm. know not be able to finish. And of course, he did the stare off at yeah. Roman, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So, so I'm, there I'm may hoping. be more to this than we know, yeah, because obviously, you know, everyone expected, all right, well, we know how this is playing out, but mm-hmm. they threw the little Seth Rollins, uh, him trying to bid for maybe Cody facing him. Me. They threw that. And yeah. then, you know, obviously adding the rock into this changes a lot of things. So I do think there's more to the story than we know. Mm-hmm. Obviously people are going off the media emotions and being upset, which I understand. Of course. But at the same time, we still have like 60 days left yeah. to WrestleMania. We still so have elimination chamber. So we don't really know as of yet how this is going to play out. So that's why I hadn't been on the, complete hate train yet because mm-hmm. I'm like it gotta be I, people story. want to see this match. Yeah. It's just the timing of it and it's it gotta right. gotta make sense. So if they can make sense of it and once again if they're able to pull off a swerve like this, they would have gotten so many people. Yeah. And it's one of those things where it's like that's that's really good where you can potentially you can manipulate the audience into getting something better, choosing someone that you really want them to choose. Because Cody's mm-hmm. always been the top babyface, but now with right. this overwhelming support, this is probably the most like support I've seen for Cody since he's been back in WWE. Like it's ridiculous now. Yeah, no. it's become a trend. So the <clears throat> it may work in their favor. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping it does because I don't want the the whole yeah. You built Roman mm-hmm. all this time just for it to end, yeah, like yeah. like that, yeah, like yeah. You, you like something that the fans don't want to see, or mm-hmm. you want it to be epic, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't have him hold his belt this long to just go out and just be like, oh, that's how we was gonna end this story, yeah. That's how we gonna finish wrap this segment up of yeah. Roman's uh, legendary title run. But mm-hmm. hey, like I said, let Cody finish doing his thing. I personally thought at first it was a it was a play or a, a mm-hmm. cover up for them letting Cody lose again. What do you mean? Um, like if they potentially was really trying to let Roman break Hogan's record, mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be a cover up from him having to be the one to to lose again. Oh, uh, you talking about the Rock? Nah, Cody. Like, yeah, look, well, he can beat the Rock versus him trying to actually beat Cody, so that way he can still go on after WrestleMania and break the record. Oh, uh, that's I mean, the first thing I thought when yeah. I seen it. I was just like. Maybe they was going to have Cody lose again. You know what I'm saying? Somehow. But now it's this whole story of I want to see you lose everything mm-hmm. from Cody. You know, mm-hmm. so it's it's really so many ways they can play it. Yeah. But what I do want to get on um, real quick is the fact that people are sick. Yeah. Uh, some of the messages and stuff that Ross was telling me about mm-hmm. that people, of course, are sending hate mail, death threats, and stuff like that. Like, yeah. You can love a sport, man. You can love wrestling. 
Mm-hmm. But it's not okay to get to that point yeah. just because you want a store to go how you want, want it to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's not cool. And y'all involve people who mm-hmm. sometimes don't have nothing to do with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like sending hate to what The Rock's daughter mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And she's just, hey, GMing and running her own show. Mm-hmm. And she's just getting threats. Yeah. You know, because you guys don't. It doesn't line up with what you guys want to see. You guys and are being weird, man. That's when it gets really sick and very weird. Yeah. And that's when people say, that's why certain things we can't get. Because yeah. people don't know how to act when you yeah. do get something. I yeah. mean, not going to always get it right. Yeah, facts, man. It's just, it's one of those things where it's like, it's wrestling. It's a wrestling story. Like, there's more to life <laughs> right. than just this particular wrestling story that you want to happen at this particular time. Yeah. Like, Relax. Like when you, chill, when you think about it in three months time, you're not even gonna care like that. You feel me? Like most people are not gonna care. So right. it's one of those situations where, you know, and I've seen it so many times with wrestling fans and just sometimes some fans of any particular yeah, sport, just people just they take it a little bit too far and they say or do something that's just makes absolute no sense, nonsensical, and they get to that point where it's like it's not even about the the wrestling is not even about the sport We're no more. Now. You now you're just being on some weird stuff and you need to get help. So if you know any of those individuals, condemn them, block them, keep it moving. And if you happen to be one of those individuals, get some help. Chill out, bro. Yeah, it's it's wrestling, bro. It's, it's it's not the end of the world, dog. You get your ass in the ring and then and then yeah. go, go create your own damn story and finish your own story then. Yeah. If that's how you feel about it. Yeah, Don't no. go threaten nobody else. No innocent person just because they're trying to bring entertainment to us. And mm-hmm. you don't like, bro, everybody's not going to get satisfied yeah, nah. out of the story. Some people don't want Cody to win. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's a, some people don't, some people want the Roman and Rock thing. Some mm-hmm. people don't want it. Some people yeah. want it, Rock to actually come back. Some yeah. people don't. Some, it's just going to, somebody, there's a fan and that's going to mm-hmm. not get what they want. Yeah, it's of course. always going to happen. Yeah. So it's like, bro, let's just enjoy what we're seeing. Let's be happy that it's back peaking at a point yeah. to what we can remember back when we was younger. Mm-hmm. Like, let's just be satisfied with where it's going, yeah. where it is now, where the potential of it going. Yeah, nah, facts. Let's, let's just not mess it up. Leave it at that. But yeah, man, uh, make sure you guys join us for the live streams uh, when we're doing the Raw and SmackDown live streams. This is mm-hmm. where we're able to catch the stuff live and and kind of give our own takes on where the story is going to go and, yeah. and how things are going to plan out. And the past few Monday Night Raws, have been actually pretty good to the point where, you know, sometimes the shows just be going by pretty quick. And, and, you know, we have our option, like we have the time to really see, okay, what can, what's going to happen here? How is this going to play out? How is things going to go into WrestleMania? And that's a good thing Mm -hmm. because it creates that excitement for the next PLE. And, you know, people are looking forward to us uh, doing that 12 hour stream for Elimination Chamber uh, later on this month. So, you know, it, Elimination yeah, Chamber either. may be a must watch because we don't know how things going to play out with that yeah. going right into WrestleMania. So. And we may be playing right into their game. Yeah. Into their hand. Hopefully so. Because mm-hmm. uh, again, I just want to see the the ending of the era of Roman in just like how it's supposed to. Yeah. They incorporate the family like they're supposed to. They mm-hmm. just give it time yeah. for everything to happen like they wanted to. You know The Rock's not going to be there all the time. Yeah. Roman's not going to be there all the, all the time. So it makes sense to have them surprise picks, uh, appearances Throughout the rest of the year, man, and yeah. set up the next year's WrestleMania. Yeah, we'll Cody see. Cody do his thing. I mean, it's just it's so many ways they can do it. But yeah. hopefully you guys enjoyed this, man. If you yeah. did, make sure you run up the likes. Subscribe, like Ross was saying. Tune in. Hey, if you're on Twitch, we also go live on Twitch mainly on Wednesdays right now for mm-hmm. now. But we know it's been a consistent thing uh, now. So now we can kind of tell you guys. So mm-hmm. check us out on Twitch, man, at Clutching One Gaming. Follow us, subscribe, whatever you can. The live reactions we do over there is pretty live. So, Facts. No pun intended. <laughs> Catch y'all in the next one, man. It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace. Alrighty.